Muscle TV, proudly brought to you by Maxines, for the body you want, and Maxes, because life's too short to be small. Hello everyone and welcome to another week of Muscle TV. We've got a huge show tonight folks as we catch up with one of the world's strongest men to find out his secret to moving crazy weight. Harps is back to tell it like it is, as only he can, and the sisters are doing it for themselves as sisters Jade McKee and Prue McInery take us through a fantastic shoulder workout. First up though, we look at a type of training that's popularity is matched only by its ability to divide opinion. That's CrossFit. People can be massive fans of CrossFit, or even call it a fad. Whatever your opinion, what can't be in dispute is the fact that many people, both men and women, are interested in finding out more about it. So first up, we thought we'd drop into a popular CrossFit gym and find out what it's all about and take you through a basic but very effective routine. Let's check it out. My name's Clay Cook. Uh, we're in CrossFit Canada Bay and this is inside Box HQ. So what CrossFit is defined as, it's constantly varied functional movements executed at a high intensity. And that means we use movements that you'd use every day, you know, your air squat, uh, pressing, pulling, and we use free weights. We use barbells, we run, we row, we use jump rope, just to try and get as much variety as we can in a program. The reason I believe CrossFit's so popular is the fact that you become like a community. You know, you know everyone's names. If someone doesn't turn up to the gym, you give them a call, say, where were you? You know, really, you become close to the people that you're training with. And this idea of shared suffering throughout your training, it's, I mean, it becomes infectious. And it just is so much easier to stay consistent than a regular gym program where you start, you lose motivation, and of course, people drop off. CrossFit's designed for everyone. A lot of girls will actually come to the gym and they'll think that CrossFit's more a guy's thing, but if you look at our membership base, we actually have more female CrossFitters than we do male CrossFitters. But men and women interact together, we don't separate based on gender or anything like that. It's purely you come to the program that you want to experience. What we got today, we've got two girls who are pretty fit, but they haven't really done a lot of CrossFit before. So what they wanted to do, they wanted to get exposed to a few of the movements. We're not gonna do a traditional CrossFit workout, we're gonna work in couplets, so we'll do two exercises back to back, three rounds, and we'll do that six times. So that means we've got six small little couplets, giving these girls that you know, want to have a training session, want to experience CrossFit, allow them to experience lots of different movements. Today we're only using two girls, but usually somewhere around 14 to 16 people in a class. This is a sort of a basic to intermediate level program. You know, these girls have a fair bit of training experience behind them, but these specific movements they haven't done before. I'm here with Liam, one of our PTs here at Box HQ, and also Jen, our gorgeous reception girl. All right, girls, jump on the rolls, let's get started. The warm up's never the same. We always try and change the warm up based on the training session they're about to do. So, today, what the girls are going to do, they'll row, they'll hit 15 air squats and five straight chin ups. And they'll just go through that twice, just to get the blood flowing, opening the hips up. The idea, it's not about going super fast, just slowly start to heat your body up, get that blood flowing. Nice girls, beautiful, looking good. Remember with that breathing, as we pull that handle into our chest, that's when we breathe out. So when we're waiting these squats, try and think, weight's right to the middle of our foot, chest stays up nice and tall. Now with these chin ups, just keep them super strict. No kip, get that full extension at the bottom. So the second part we're gonna do, it's gonna be a combination of GHD sit ups and box jumps. So GHD sit up is where we go into a fully extended position, reach down, touch the ground, and come through, and then box jump, everyone's seen them, jump up, open the hips to the top. So everything's gonna be three rounds. So girls, we got 12. So the GHD sit ups are fantastic, just for engaging the core. So if we get that core engagement, we know that when we move into the heavier stuff later, they're gonna be tighter and stronger through that core because they're fired up and ready to go. Come through, straighten those legs. The bottom, Bang, lock those legs out. When you're ready, 12 reps. The fantastic thing about a box jump is that it forces you to be fast. You know, it's physically impossible to jump up onto a box slow. So some people, sometimes they're a little bit slow when they're moving. The box jumps, it makes them move fast, it gets their hips explosive. 
The next part we're going to do is going to be a deadlift and a toaster bar. So a deadlift is a pretty simple movement where we pick a barbell up off the floor, come into an open position, and then a toaster bar is where we're grabbing onto a chin-up bar, we bring our feet right up, again we engage the core, engage the back. So deadlift, most of the people who train a lot know that a deadlift is a fantastic exercise purely because there's so much muscle recruitment. You know, you've got to be tight through your back, you've got to be tight through your core, your glutes, your hips, your hamstring. Everything has to work, so we get so much bang for our buck. The reason why we're combining with a toe to bar today is because they're opposites. So deadlift, it's hard to open the hips, and then the toe to bar, we're forced to close the hips. So that's why we're interchanging those two. Beautiful, feel that tension through your back, stay nice and tight through your core, fire up. <laughs> do what you need to do to get those reps done. So the next one we're gonna use is back squat again. The back squat's the king of all exercises, deadlift's the queen. Nice, Jan, good death. Good breathe out, Leanne. Excellent, excellent. The reason why we're gonna combine the back squat and the push up today is because they're two different style of movements. So a back squat is a heavy external load and then a push up is what we would consider a gymnastics movement or just a body weight movement. Right down, Leanne, right down that little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, chest touch. So we're going to do rope climbs and wall walks. Okay, this is going to be our finisher. They're both two pretty tough exercises and they're both just using their body weight. So I don't want to give the girls any really heavy exercises whilst they're quite tired at the end, but it'll be a good way to finish them off. So the beauty about this exercise is that we can scale it back to whatever fitness level we want. Leanne's super strong through her back. She's got really good pulling power, so she's able to hit our advanced rope climbs. Jen, she's a bit more of an endurance athlete. She doesn't have quite as strong arms, so this is a good way to scale back the same movement. All right, so our wall walk. Start chest on the ground. First thing, butt up, big step, big step. Don't let those hips drop. From there, I walk back as far as I feel comfortable with, and then we walk back out, back down. We've got five reps, take it slow. This is not an easy exercise, this wall walk. This is definitely a more advanced gymnastic skill. But it has a fantastic transfer over to all of our pressing movements. We're done. Boom, finished. There you go, guys. Half hour, great workout. Girls did super well. High five. Good stuff. Got it done. <laughs> So Goose 369 is a six week program split into two three week cycles. So we're looking to hit it from two angles, looking to increase strength and looking to increase muscle size right throughout. Goose 369 is really uh, the boiled down version of a lot of old school Russian powerlifting programs. It uses a lot of whole body movements, there's a, there's a lot of big barbell lifts within the movement. There's going to be times in Goose 369 where you're doubting whether you're going to come up from the bottom of your squat. Off the back of your warm-up, you're going to be straight into a strength lift. Using the rate of perceived exertion scale, we're going to lift up until it feels like a 9 out of 10. We're then going to stay at that level until the 9 out of 10 soon feels like a 10 out of 10. On the second part of your program, we're going to perform 5 reps, rest for 10 seconds, complete 4 reps, rest for 10 seconds, then complete 3 reps. For the next section of your workout, we'll be training double triceps. We're going to work on one exercise for 15 reps, straight on to the next exercise, 15 reps, and then returning to the first exercise for only 10 reps. Finishing off your workout, we're going to use a dally set. A dally set is five times five reps with only five seconds recovery in between. All the added volume will completely ramp up the results that you can expect to get from your workout.